the thought of failure and the fear of it has succeeded in making most people fail in life because they fail to prepare and make good plans that can help them avoid it. Although we've all been raised to believe that failure is a terrible thing, it actually isn't. When we fail, we learn and we are more experienced. However, in some cases, failure can be avoided if we do the right thing. Look at it this way. Say you have a test or an exam in a couple of days. Instead of reading, studying, spending time with your study groups, etc., you choose to watch movies, catch the games and spend your time doing everything else but studying for your upcoming exams. Tell me, what do you think will be the result of your actions? Well, I'm pretty sure failure will be inevitable. That's how life works as well. Sometimes, we fail even after preparing and coming up with the supposed best strategies we can think. However, it is never an excuse not to plan and prepare for the best. Imagine what the situation would look like when you fail to make plans in the first place. The truth is that sometimes we don't fail because our plan wasn't enough. We fail because we didn't set plans at all, or we didn't set the right strategies that can help us win. In this video, I'll share with you the top 10 reasons why people fail in life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos. 1. We don't believe that we can be successful. One of the most critical elements of success is to believe in yourself and your ability to do what you set out to do before anything else. Norman Vincent Pill, an American minister and author, said, Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without humble and reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. Think about it. If you don't believe that what you're doing or about to do will become successful, will you still go for it? I'm sure the answer is no. And even if you do, you'll just be doing it out of compulsion. If you don't believe you can achieve your goals and visions, you won't succeed even if you attempt to. 2. We don't set clear goals. Next to believe in yourself is to have a clear goal. Your goal should clearly state what you want to achieve. According to Zig Ziglar, a goal properly set is half-reached. So start by setting clear goals. For instance, say you want to become a top designer someday. You don't just write down that way. Instead, specify what kind of designer you'd like to be. Do you want to be known for ready-to-wear collections, bespoke, whether it is bridles and parties or corporate wears, the kind of people you'd love to make clothes for, and the type of fabrics, details, and embellishments you'd like to use? That's pretty specific, isn't it? That's the kind of goal you should set, a clear purpose. Imagine putting down a goal that is as clear as this. It'll make it easier for you to pursue your goals even when it seems tiring and discouraging due to some of the obstacles you might encounter because it is pretty specific. You know what you want to do precisely. Orison Sweat Madden, an American inspirational author, said, All who have accomplished great things have had a great aim, have fixed their gaze on a goal which was high, one which sometimes seemed impossible. 3. We fail to plan. It's one thing to set a goal. It's another to create plans that can help you achieve that goal. Pablo Picasso, a Spanish painter, said, Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act there is no other route to success. In creating a plan, it should be just as clear as your goal. Your plan is expected to outline every step-by-step -step action needed to accomplish your goals. For instance, as a designer, you intend to make 50 dresses by the end of the year. Don't just write it down that way. Instead, put down something like this. Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. every Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays in the year, so and so, I'll make a beautiful dress on Fridays I'll make a picture of the dress and include it in my lookbook. On Saturday and Sunday, I'll go for shopping, new fabrics, and accessories for a new piece. By the end of the year, 52 weeks, you must have made at least 52 new dresses, which are two dresses more than your initial plan. Imagine having a plan that clearly states your moves. There is only one possible outcome. All things being equal, you'll succeed. 4. We have a limited perspective. You can't live a successful life if you are not growing and developing yourself, it means that you'll be stuck on your perspective to life. Nothing new coming in, just the same old you. You see, people who think they know it all in life fail because they're unwilling to accept change. If you want to achieve more and succeed in life, you have to understand your vision and perspective continually. To do this, you have to improve and develop yourself regularly. Read books, travel, network with people outside of your social and intelligence level to learn from them, etc. 5. We want too much too quickly. The road to success is a long-term plan. 
there is absolutely nothing short about it. Remember that what is good usually never comes quickly. And what comes quickly often will do you no good over the long term. To achieve success in anything takes time. It's a creative process that requires step-by-step -step nurturing. It's like planting a tree that doesn't just grow in a couple of weeks or months. It takes some time to mature. Most people want to set big goals and do great stuff they can achieve as soon as possible. As a result, they push themselves too hard. The problem with this is that they soon realize that it'll take more than they imagined. And at that point, they've pushed themselves way more than they are capable of handling anymore. The next plan becomes to give up. Imagine setting a goal like this. I want to lose 20 kg of extra fat in the next two weeks. Or I want to gain an extra 10 kg in the next 10 days. These are unrealistic goals. Pushing yourself to achieve these goals will only make you depressed after struggling for a little while and eventually give up because you are expecting too much too quickly. 6. We lack self-discipline. Discipline takes self-control, sacrifice, avoiding distractions and temptations. Jim Rohn once said, Discipline is a bridge between goals and accomplishments. Discipline doesn't mean being a perfectionist. It only means being focused enough to do everything necessary to accomplish your goals at the right time. It means overcoming procrastination, temptation and distraction because you are determined to achieve your set goals within your set deadline. 7. We lack persistence. A part of achieving your goal is being faced with obstacles and oppositions. It is going to get challenging though. However, your ability to persist in the face of difficulty is what determines your success. You see, most people fail to persist. Yes, it's one of the hardest things to do. But again, if you believe in yourself, your goals, vision and plans, you'll go for it no matter what happens. 8. We give too many excuses. Blaming people, circumstances and things for your life's problem is the wrongest approach to life because you'd never succeed if you spend the rest of your life believing that one thing or the other is responsible for your incapabilities. You are in charge of your life and you alone can decide whether you want to go for your dreams or not. Giving excuses might console you for a moment but it will never make you happy in the long run because your goals will remain where they've always been, in your head only. 9. We'll let our fears control our lives. Fear of failure. Fear of the unknown. Fear of death. Fear of poverty. Fear of this. Fear of that. Guess what? We all have those fears. They're not unique to you. However, the difference between you and people who eventually succeed is that they don't allow their worries to control them. Instead, they control it. Taking risks is a huge part of success. So if you must succeed in life, you have to learn to look beyond your fears and step out of your comfort zone. Start by taking one step at a time. 10. We give up too quickly. I get it, it's a tough call. But it doesn't have to be an impossible one. Eric Thomas said, When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Challenges are a part of the journey to success, not an excuse to throw everything down the drain. So, when you are faced with difficulties, don't be quick to give up. Instead, seek help and advice from people who have gone through similar situations. You'd be surprised how much it'll help. No matter what you're faced with, don't give up too soon. You're probably closer to success, much more than you think. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.